inch. This was another requirement. The next requirement is 6.4.6 flange facing finish imperfection. So this happens in the industry a lot. So you're going to check and make a visual inspection on the flange facing uh, on process piping. This can happen on the pressure vessel. Anything, even the storage tank, you can see there's a scratches, there's a cut, it's damaged. So we need a standard to see, uh, you know, how, how we can evaluate or accept or reject the flanges. So, so it might be a new flange, you know, it's, it's damaged in the shipping. So we're going to evaluate that by the table 3 or table 2-3 uh, of a mandatory appendix 2. So. The first requirement that comes on 6.4.6, as you can see in the screen, it says adjacent imperfection, distance of at least four times the maximum radial projection. It says if there's a two imperfection, there should be four times of the radial projection should be distance of them. So we can't have a two cut too close to each other. We're going to review what's the radial projection. Okay. Now I put in the screen the radial projection. The difference between the, an outer radius and inner radius is a, uh, you know, the, the projection, radial projection. So if I want to show you with this chalk in here, so if there's a cut like this, you know, this is the inner radius and this is the outer radius. So our projection is going to be from this side of the flange on this side of the flange. By the way, if you're having a, something like this, a line, parallel to the serration so the case is less i can say uh less uh you know is is more lenient requirement than the the items that is cut through the serration is perpendicular to the serration because inner surface you consider here an outer then is going to be radial uh, radial projection is going to be very very less when it's cut through the serration when it's a perpendicular to the serration. Also, there's a uh, there's an image you can see in this screen in my right that it's also indicates that you can pause the video and focus on the image and to see how this works. So, by the way, now I, I think you know that the the cuts, scratches, or any mechanical damage, if it's cut through the uh, serration, they're gonna get more radial projection. So, but it's a parallel to the, you know, is is parallel to the uh, serration, then it's uh, uh, you're going to get the lenient, uh, lenient requirement uh, acceptance criteria because the uh, radial projection is going to be way less. But the thing is different from if it starts from here and goes to the this end from inside diameter goes to the outside of the distortion, then the radial projection is the, as the same of the straight cut. So. What I'm saying, less lenient when it's in the serration, but in the same line, you know, it goes like exactly parallel to the serration, less, uh, you know, is uh, less stringent. But if there's cuts from here and goes, you know, with the, like a spiral and goes to the other end, is the same, uh, you know, radial uh, radial projection like the uh, straight cut like this doesn't, you know, is, there's no difference uh, for evaluation between those things. So, now we know what's the radial, uh, radial projection and the, the next item you need to know is that the imperfection with the half depth of the serration not a defect. This is addressed on the 4.6, uh, sorry, 6.4.6 if you want to go to the codebook and read the full phrases over there or in your handout. You can see that's the, it's indicated there. If you can see in a scratch in here or a cut in here, but you evaluate and uh, kind of determine that the depth of this imperfection or this cut or scratch, whatever you want to name it, is half of the serration, then you can ignore that. That's not a defect. That's an imperfection. Okay, that's the indication. You can, you can reject that flange. If it's a half, we're talking when it's depth is more than half of the depth of the serration, then we have to consider, uh, you can see in this screen, this table. There's a three column in this table. The left one is the MPS, is the size of the flanges. The, the 
the second column which is the um, you know less astringent is when there's a, a scratches cut and other things which is not deeper than the serration okay we're not talking about the half you know we can when it's the less than half we, we don't even consider that now we consider this is a more than half then but it's not the deeper than the serration then you go to the the middle column the the the, the second one from the left so you evaluate for that one but if it is a deeper than the you know uh, deeper than the serration then you go to the column number three so and then you're going to see this there's a stringent requirement by the column number three let me let me summarize again column number one which is the middle column you can see in this screen when it's there's a scratch and or cut or imperfection which is not deeper than the serration which is not deeper than the serration okay then you evaluate with that but if there's a, a deeper than serration you go to the the last column for example if your flange is 14 inch and there's a cut a mechanical damage or whatever you want to name is on flange facing on serration and you evaluate and see it's not the deeper than the serration actually is more than the half of the depth of the serration but is not deeper than the serration then the acceptance criteria for that is 0.31 inch but if you evaluate and uh, determine that is a deeper than the serration the maximum acceptable uh, radial projection for that is going to be 0.18 you can see is a more stringent requirement so that that's the difference first thing you're going to look and you're going to first determine is that more than half of the depth is more than a half of the half of the serration yes ignore it no it's it's more than half now it's, it's more than the serration depth of the serration okay column number two or i can say middle column and if it is deeper than the serration go to the column number three or the last column for more stringent requirements so this was about the flange face imperfection so in the exam if any question comes up as here so some things you have to might know about the closed book uh, the half of the depth of the serration you should you know if less than the half of the depth of the serration you have to ignore but this kind of a question if provide the flange size to you and a scratch size or cut size then you can come to the, this table locate this table on the bookmark click and this uh, table is going to appear over there and you can make your evaluation and select the correct answer